Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be recapping free agency week one for the Chicago Bulls, breaking down all the moves and signing the Bulls have made, grading all the moves and the complete offseason as of today, and just breaking down those signings and how they fit with this Bulls roster. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below. Today's video takes a second and helps me out a lot. And leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video about the start of Chicago. Bulls free agency also just a little heads up sorry for the lack of videos for free agency as you guys can probably tell I'm not feeling my best and I'm under the weather but I still wanted to get this video out for you guys but before I jump into today's video make sure you guys do grade the Chicago Bulls offseason below today's video so far I did put out a tweet on Twitter the other day and majority of the votes were given the Bulls a B or a C for free agency so far so let's just jump right into my grades my ratings and how they do fit on this team now, I'd say the biggest move that the Bulls have made so far in this free agency was signing Javon Carter. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of shocked by this signing still. I do believe the Bulls got him on a hell of a contract. I mean, Woj did report a little bit right after free agency did start day one that the Bulls have signed Javon Carter to a three-year, $20 million deal. And I love that deal. I love him as a player. Obviously, he's coming home to Chicago, so that's super cool. And on his career in the NBA, he is about a 40% three-point shooter from downtown, and he's a very pesty on-ball defender. This is pretty much the player I wish Caruso could be if he could just get his shooting percentages up. Now, while he may not be the answer to the Bulls' facilitating problem, he does provide them with another feisty backcourt presence who can sink his catch-and-shoot threes. I'm going to be honest, I, as of right now, expect Javon Carter to be the Bulls' starting point guard. And also, last season for the Milwaukee Bucks, he did play in 81 of the 82 games and he also did start about 40 and he did average about 22 minutes a night and as of right now I do expect those minutes to rise on this Bulls team because the Bulls are going to need his three-point shooting and all the little things that he does bring to this Bulls roster you know just being a dog being a very good on-ball defender he also has a good tendency to jump the passing lanes and get some steals he's a knockdown shooter 40% from downtown is outrageous and he has a very dirty pull-up game in transition he's always taking pull-up threes and knocking them down and for the Bulls to add all that on nothing more than about 6.7 million a year that feels like a pretty big win in my opinion I'm very happy with this signing and I'm honestly kind of shocked the Bulls did sign Javon Carter and also bring back Kobe White I expected them to sign a wing first but no matter what I really like this signing he's gonna bring instant toughness a good defense and three-point shooting to this Bulls roster on a very solid contract and he's only 27 years years old this is a great signing in my opinion i would grade this signing a b plus right now and the next big signing that the Bulls did make was signing Torrey Craig just the other day. Like I did say, sorry for not having a video out. I've been feeling really under the weather. But once again, I love this signing also. The Bulls did sign Torrey Craig to a two-year contract, and the deal does include a player option. Craig did average about eight points per game and five rebounds in 24 minutes for the Phoenix Suns. And I love this signing. I've been really high on Torrey Craig for a while now. I've said this in past videos, and honestly, for a while now, I feel like he would be a great free agent agent pickup to add to this Bulls roster to play next to DeMar, Zach, and Vooch. And with all things considered, Torrey Craig just brings the exact kind of player the Chicago Bulls should have been targeting at this point in this offseason and in the past offseasons. Now, with the number of attractive free agents winding down, Craig is one of the best assets left on the board. He is 32 years old, and he will fill a major need at the wing with his six foot seven size and above average defensive style of play. And even more encouraging, Craig is fresh off shooting about 40% from three-point range last season on a career-high 3.1 attempts per game. As of right now, obviously these two signings aren't big names or nothing, but these are perfect players that fit around the Bulls' core right now. I feel like AK has been doing a great job, you know, being very selective and signing good two good free agents to bring back to play next to DeMar, Zach, and Vooch. Adding Torrey Craig, especially on a vet minimum, is a hell of a deal. I love everything he will bring to this Bulls roster. I mean, the Bulls finally have another 6-7 wing to throw out there to guard someone. I feel like they have missed that badly for the past few seasons. Now, I am a little concerned on his three-point shot. I mean, if you look at his three-point percentages over his career in the NBA, on his career, he's a 35% three-point shooter, which still isn't bad. But last season for the Suns, he did shoot about 40%. I don't know if that was just a fluke or something. I guess we will see 
league going into this year as of today i would give this tory craig signing also a b or b plus in my opinion i like both these free agents that ik has signed so far now, before the Chicago Bulls front office did sign both those free agents, they also did re-sign Kobe White and Vooch. I'm not going to talk about that topic too much because I did talk about it in one of my last videos, but I'm really happy Kobe and Vooch are both back on very affordable and solid contracts. I know some people are still not going to be happy with the Vooch contract, but bringing Kobe White back, I mean, I think we all know he's only 23 years old. He has so much room to improve and grow especially with how much better he did get last season during the season and last off season he was in the gym so much he's a knockdown shooter that can get really hot and win you a game or two I would give the Vooch and Kobe White signing also a BB plus. So overall on the Chicago Bulls free agency as of today, I would give it maybe a B plus or a B. I really like what they have done. Now it's not anything crazy or any big moves, but the Bulls did bring back two of their better players on solid contracts in my eyes. And they also did add two free agents who are three and D players that will fit instantly into any lineup the Bulls are going to throw out there this upcoming season. So yeah, I'd give their off season right now a BB plus leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video about the bulls offseason and their grades and their signings now to end this video i just wanted to talk about the best available free agents right now now io is still a free agent for the bulls there really hasn't been too much news or rumors on that whole situation i still do hope the bulls burn him back but i don't know if there's going to be playing time for him now i'll make sure to throw up this tweet with some names i know the bulls have kind of been linked to grant williams but he is a restricted free agent so i feel like that's a long shot i mean tj warren's out there kelly Oubre jr terrence ross i mean christian wood's still out there blake griffin i know there's been a lot of talk on Twitter about Bulls fans wanting the Bulls to sign Mo Bamba. And I am all for that. Mo Bamba fits so well with this Bulls roster on paper in my eyes. I mean, he could play the center or the backup power forward position. Obviously, he's super lengthy. He's a good defensive center that can block a bunch of shots. He can also shoot two. I feel like the Bulls could also get him for pretty cheap. But as of right now, I'm not sure who the Bulls are going to sign. I mean, Mo Bamba is only 25 years old. He really didn't play this past season for the Lakers, which does surprise me. I mean, on his career, he is shooting about 36% from three point range if the bulls could throw another vet minimum at him to fill out this roster i would be very happy but i'll definitely keep you guys updated on the rest of the bulls offseason so far definitely leave your guys' thoughts and opinions below today's video on the chicago bulls start a free agency like i did say earlier in today's video it's nothing crazy it's no big names but they're all solid moves i will I'll definitely help out this team especially on the defense and the three-point shooting i hope thank you guys for all the love on the channel in the past few videos i really do do appreciate it thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one